The impending government shutdown tonight at midnight. That deadline is approaching fast. Here to talk about what's happening is Jamie Chandler. He's a political science professor at Hunter College. So what's going on this time that's different in this showdown? As a, compared to 1996? Yes. Um, well, a big thing this time around is that you have the Tea Party Republicans as well as the incumbent Republicans struggling to define what the budget's going to be, as well as both um, attempting to challenge the Democrats. So John Bonner, for example, has been having a lot of trouble getting many of the conservative Tea Party party members to agree on this budget policy. But there's a lot of differences from 1996. First of all, Newt Gingrich was speaker then, and he was very vocal leading up to the budget crisis on opposing Clinton. And um, that, in and of itself, had a significant public opinion backlash against the Republicans. Just his personality. Right, exactly. I mean, one of the... You know, arguments back then was that he was very upset about being put in the back of Bill Clinton's, you know, airplane. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I remember that he's yeah, being yeah. about that. But are the dynamics significantly different this time than they were in, in 95, 96 when we had a shutdown? And, and it actually uh, turned out very badly for the Republicans in the next election. Exactly. And I do think that this time around it could be bad for the Republicans as well. Um, most of the polling data indicates right now that about 40 percent of Americans would blame the Republicans for the, ju the shutdown and 20 percent would blame Obama. But this time around, I think that at least so far it seems the Republicans have won the debate mm -hmm. talking about the budget. The issue, the issue has, has moved in their direction on the budget because people, I think, are far more concerned now than they were back in 95 about the size of the deficit and the trajectory of spending. Exactly. Uh, the Republicans have been very effective in framing the whole government spending um, issue since the election of 2010. Um, you know, one of the big things that obviously has propelled the Tea Party is that the government spending should be cut down. At the same time, um, the problem is both internally in the party, it's what is going to be cut. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always an <clears throat> argument against business subsidies versus social spending, which is probably what's going to get the most cuts right now. Yeah. And when you look ahead, this is uh, just a tiny little taste of the battle to come. If we look exactly. at, at Paul Ryan's blueprint for a budget to try to rein in deficits over the next 10 years. Right. I mean, to, he's pushing for $100 billion in cuts even just this year with an escalating amount over the next couple of years. Right. What's likely to happen over the next, before the next election, on the bigger battle over what is essentially trillions in cuts that exactly. have to be made to the budget? Yeah, there are a number of things coming up. Um, the obviously raising the debt ceiling for the country so that uh, they can the country can maintain its credit rating. That's going to get significant amount of uh, push against, as well as um, some of Obama's you know pending proposals, policy proposals, should be significantly costly.